Math 083 Final Exam Review Problem 10 Parts A, B, C, and D In Part A, we must determine f of negative 9. This is the y-coordinate that corresponds to the x-coordinate negative 9. So we must look for a point whose x-coordinate is negative 9. Our answer will be the y-coordinate. From the origin, we count to the left 9 units to arrive at negative 9 on the x-axis, and then we look up or down till we find the graph. This point right here has x-coordinate negative 9. What is its y-coordinate? Its y-coordinate is positive 9. And positive 9 is the answer. That is, f of negative 9 equals 9. In Part B, we must evaluate f of 5 f of 5 is the y-coordinate that corresponds to the x-coordinate 5. So we are looking for this point, 5, comma. Our answer is the y-coordinate. Here is the point whose x-coordinate is 5. What is its y-coordinate? The answer is 4. That is, f of 5 is equal to 4. Let's look at part C. For what value of x is f of x equal to negative 6? So in part C, we are given y coordinate is negative 6. We are looking for the x coordinate at that point. So we will go to negative 6 on the y axis and look left or right until we find the graph. We look to the right and we see it right here. This is the point whose y coordinate is negative 6. What is the x coordinate there? 9. So our answer, x equals 9. In part d, for what value of x is f of x equal to 9? So we are given y coordinate is 9. We are being asked to find x. So we go to 9 on the y axis and look left or right until we find the graph. We look left and see it right here. So this point is the point whose y coordinate is 9. What is its x coordinate? Its x-coordinate is negative 9, so our answer, x equals negative 9.